Hello, welcome to another video. We're going to take the limit of this as x goes to zero. And um, it's unusual because here I don't have numbers to represent. I'm just representing the numbers with letters. So the constants are m, k, and c. Okay, so how would you go about this if there are no numbers? Remember, if we plug in zero here, it's going to be m times zero. So you're going to have sine zero plus zero over sine zero, which gives you zero over zero. So this is a zero over zero situation, which guarantees that some algebraic manipulation will save the day. So what's the algebraic manipulation? Let's see it. So like I said, because it gives us zero over zero, which is the indeterminate form, zero over zero, we, um, well, some people say use L'Hopital's rule, but I'm not a fan of L'Hopital's rule unless it's the only way out, or if you just have to do it because it gives you speed and advantage over your competitors. But I don't see anyone fighting right now. So let's just do the algebra. So this is the limit as x goes to zero of sine mx over sine cx, then I'm going to add this kx over sine cx. So even if you were presented with something like this, you should be able to take this limit, be able to take this limit. Um, so what would you do? Well, generally, let's rewrite this so you see what we have. We have the limit as x goes to zero. So I'm going to give the limit to each of these of um, I have sine mx over 1 multiplied by 1 over sine cx. And here I'm going to say it is plus the limit as x goes to 0 of, so this is a single term, and I'm going to write this as kx over sine cx. Okay. Now, this looks promising because I know what to do here. Now, recall that we have to use the, um, let me put it here again in one corner because this is something that we have to keep using over and over again. I want you to recall that the limit as x goes to zero of, let's use theta, okay, of sine theta over theta is the same thing as the limit as theta goes to zero of theta over sine theta and it's equal to one. So whether you flip this to look like this, you'll always get one, okay, as your limit, as long as theta is going to zero. And what's here, it's what's here, and this is going to zero, this is going to zero. So that's what we're gonna to apply to these two. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say that this is the same thing. Oh, let's do this. So we're going to say this is the same thing as writing the limit as x goes to zero. Now the first part is sine mx over one, but I want this to be something I can't because these two are not the same, so I can't cancel out. So I'm going to write mx down here, but I'm going to cancel out that mx by writing it somewhere else as a multiple or as a, a, a something that multiplies it. So we're going to have the limit of sine mx over, I'm going to write mx here, okay? But I'm going to go out here and write mx so that this mx cancels out this mx, okay? And then I'm going to distribute this also. So I put a limit sign here because remember, the limit of a product is the product of the limits, as long as either of the products have their defined limits. So I'm going to say the limit as x goes to zero of, now I'll go here, I'm going to write, instead of writing just 1 over sine cx, I'm going to write sine cx, and then I'm going to write cx on top of it. So, and then to cancel out this cx, I'll put it here, cx over cx. Okay, so, and that's just this part. Then for this part, I'll do the same thing. I'll put cx on top here and cancel it out with cx, and I can move this kx to the side. So I can say plus the limit as x goes to zero of, 
um, what would this be? This is going to be CX over sine CX multiplied by KX. So this KX is still there, but now I have to cancel out the CX, which I put there because it's not supposed to be there in the first place. So everything looks just like this. And that's the secret to taking this limit. Now, see what we got. We know this limit here will go to one because this goes to zero and this goes to zero and it matches this description. So this is gonna be one times, what do we have here? We're gonna have, this also goes to zero, this goes to zero and this goes to zero and it matches this one, which is also one. And then what do we have? We have MX over CX, so MX over CX plus, this goes to one because it matches this description. So we're gonna have this to be one times KX over CX. So what do we have? <laughs> so if we cancel these out, we're gonna have M over C plus, if we cancel these two out, we're gonna have K over C. And as you can see, the limit we have is equal to M plus K over C. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.